Hey everyone, it's Sean here, your guide to Warcraft, and I'm doing a guide today on Oryx the All Seer. Now, this is a new NPC or vendor, if you like, added in August, so you want to head to where I am on the map here, sort of like dead in the middle, where this bridge is, and then you want to sort of head off the bridge. I mean, you could just jump off, but I decided to go around. Don't know why, but you want to head down here, and then underneath the bridge you can see a little cave. Just try avoiding landing in the lava like me, and then when you're inside you will find Oryx. Now this is how Oryx used to look. Bit more confusing, they recently have updated him to look more like this. More vendor style, you can clearly see what items he has available. So the next step, you need to find one of these. These are one of the eyes of the All Seer located around the Antoran Waste. First one can be located in the Fellfire Armory. One also spawns in the cave next to Oryx himself. I think I saw one in the video. Next one spawns next to Houndmaster Kerax up the top here. Wasn't up when I went in the cave, but I have seen it up multiple times. It really is just a case of going to all the places, checking the spawn, and then when you find one, that's it. Next one is located just west of Hope's Landing in the spider area. You can see where I am there. There's the ramp sort of going up. And it's a cave right at the back. And if you go inside at the back of the cave, there might be another one of these eyes available. And the last one is on the upper level of the Spirit Crucible located here. So once you get to the top, you want to head right to the back. And there it should be. So once you find one of these eyes, you click it. It will do a massive amount of damage. So you want to make sure you're at full HP before clicking any of these. It will grant you an hour buff. While that buff is active, you will actually be taking double damage. So you have to be a little bit more careful. And upon killing demons, you have a chance to loot the intact demon eyes. A, a currency pretty similar to the Saber Stalkers from patch 6.2. But if you want to farm these in your own time on your own, this is a good spot that I would recommend. It's the Fellfire Armory that we were at earlier. And there's piles of explosives on the ground. And you get free charges out of them. So you can just pull a load of demons and just throw explosives at them. And you can just loot them for eyes. A very easy and quite lazy way to just do a quick farm. The only thing is that they can bug out. So make sure to use all three stacks of your explosives before picking up a new stack. And the next place I'd recommend is actually right above Oryx's cave there will be sort of a legion mining area and this is the best place to farm especially in a group the reason for this is because mob spawns are extremely consistent so in a group of five you can all just be killing mobs constantly there's never a downtime waiting for respawns you know you can constantly kill them make sure to be using your vindicar ability to just get as much out of it as you can and you just loot so much demonize i got the grind done pretty quick using this spot with a group for a few hours now you want to farm 200 demonize to start with once you hand those in you will get the gift of the all seer this removes the need to find the eyes basically those big eyes at the start of the video so this is a transformation item so you can now just transform at will so you don't need to go and find eyes for your hour buff next item will cost you 500 and this is the Observer's Locus Resonator. This will grant you the ability to open a portal to, was it like, Razir the Allseer? He's one of the sort of Legion eyes. So you open a portal, he's one of the rares, and you go up here to the Observer's Locus. If you look on the map, you are all the way at the back there. And, you know, you get a quite a good view as well. So it's like a little hidden cheeky place on the map where one of the rares are. You will be needing to kill this rare just for at least for the Commander of Argus achievement, so it is important you get that. Rare's not too hard to kill, it's very similar to Squad Commander really, you just want to be dodging as many abilities as you can, otherwise he's not really too much trouble to kill. And again, you will be needing to kill him for the Commander of Argus achievement. Good thing is that you can actually make a group and other people can use your portal as well. Now, lastly, this is where the grind comes in. He sells a toy and a pet. So one is Crossgazer. This is the pet. Pretty cool looking pet, but the catch is that the toy and the pet cost 1,000 each. So for both those items alone, you're looking at 2,000 intact demon eyes. Then there's 500 for the rare portal and another 200 for the transformation item. So you're looking at about 2,700 intact demon eyes that you are going to have to farm. So good luck and have fun with that. But hopefully the spot that I've shown you above his cave will actually be a big help. It didn't take me too long. This is the toy, the All Seer's Eye. Just a quick demonstration. It attaches itself to a player. You get an action button on a 15 second cooldown and it just whispers that player. So pretty cool, but nothing too special. And that is all for this video. So... 
If there is anything that I have missed with Oryx the Allseer, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I really do hope this helps. Be sure to subscribe for some more Warcraft guides and videos. Thank you very much for watching.